my grub lovers who ready to get their grub on you know that i am it's your boy mr grub back again with another video for you guys today i am headed to chipotle i got crunk i got my mojo back you know what i'm saying i'm feeling myself today you know listening to you know my hustle hard and everything you know what i'm saying shout out ace hood man my my, 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 my vibes is on point right now you know what i'm saying so uh now that I'm, I'm all excited and I'm all, you know, crunk like I am, I think it's time for me to go and get me something to eat. What y'all think? So, we finna go ahead to Chipotle, man. Finna get one of them good bowls. Check them out. See what it's all about. Get back with you guys in a bit, man. See you. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. So, like I said, I went ahead and uh, got the bowl, which sometimes I get the salad bowl, but I was like, I want to try something different. So, I just got the rice bowl, brown rice, um, lettuce, tomatoes, grilled chicken, uh, corn, cheese, sour cream, maxed it out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's what I like about Chipotle. You can pick your own thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it how you want to make it. Add as much as you want to add. Take away as much as you want to take away. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Chipotle. I always tell you guys I'm big on choices. You know what I mean? So, if you go somewhere and they offer you choices, man, especially great choices, it's a good place to be at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I'm going to let you guys check this out, man. Let's see what I got. go in on this now, let me tell you something funny right so most people you know when they eat stuff with like lettuce and things like that they use a fork I use both I'll tell you why how many times are you eat it right you got your you know you, you got your sauce mixing up everything start mixing up when you first getting it you can grab it with the fork but as the, the, the sauce sinks in, you know, you're able to start scooping it up. One thing, I, I think one thing about me, man, I, I hate eating, uh, I guess you could say, really loose foods with a fork. For example, corn. Hate it. You get maybe two pieces on the fork. I hate that. Rice. It's falling all through. I, I, I never understood that either. Mashed potatoes. You know, things like that. Like, what, why are you using a fork? You know what I'm and now it could be proper proper food etiquette. I mean, maybe I don't have that. But that's for me to judge, not y'all. Okay, don't be judging me. But at the same token, to be fair, you know, like they say, in all fairness, I use both. So that way, the half that may say, no, man, you're supposed to use a fork. Or the half that say, man, it's cool, use a spoon. I'm basically catering to both sides. You know? It's called neutrality. I should drop that in the neutrality. Drop that little definition at the bottom. So y'all know how to be the better person at the end of the day, man. You know, every, every time I do a video, it's, I drop a little lesson on it. You know what I'm saying? A little knowledge. So the lesson today is about neutrality. Okay? Try to be a neutral party. Try not to be the person that picks sides. Okay? Because that can end up only one way. And I, I, every time I've noticed that, uh, somebody picking a side, whether they feel they're the winning side at that time, you are now perceived to be from that point forward affiliated with that side. That's the problem with picking sides. You can never change. So, some people say, I'll give you a good one. Me. I don't drink the whole milk, like the D milk. I don't drink it, right? I drink 1%. And I always say, but no, I can't drink that stuff, man. I can't drink that stuff. I can't drink that stuff. So I ended up uh, going out of town, went to a hotel, went to the uh, continental breakfast that they have in the morning. I had my 
was cereal, man. I'm like, give me a little cereal. All they had was whole milk. So, I'm like, all right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Everybody don't carry the 1%, man. I want me some cereal. So, I pulled the whole milk in there. I'm getting ready to drink it. I, I couldn't believe it, how thick it was, because I wasn't used to it anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to the 1%. You know what I'm saying? And then Fred looked at me and was like, well, I thought you don't drink deep milk. I'm like, no, nah, I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, but they don't have the, oh, so you drink it, you just don't drink it if you have the choice. I was like, pretty much. Like, so don't say you don't drink it then. Just say, hey, man, I prefer 1%. But if, if um, you know, D-Milk is all I have, so be it. So what are you doing in that situation? You're becoming neutral. So that's what I'm telling you. Like, at the end of the day, you'll think, man, it's just milk, right? It's something small. But people actually w will hold you accountable for that. You know what I mean? And you never want to be held accountable for something that you're actually not accountable for. I don't own milk, so I could drink one, two, three, seven, nine, twelve percent. It shouldn't matter, right? But if I make it matter, then I can't expect other people not to. You know what I'm saying? So, just a lesson for you guys. All right. So, without further ado, go ahead and get in on this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, I always love to. Well, I was always like the lettuce, especially from Chipotle, because every time I've, I've actually eaten it, it's been fresh. One thing I hate is when you get the lettuce, man, and the lettuce be all soggy and stuff. I need my lettuce to crunch, you know what I'm saying? I need to feel it, and even with the sauce and everything, you know, like the sour cream hot sauce, everything, it's still crunchy, I like that, shout out to Chipotle, so tell me something, why, why is it that when people go out to eat at places, they're, uh, they're uncomfortable, Now, I know that's a broad term to use, uncomfortable, right? Would I actually explain what I mean? So, I'm explaining to you what I mean. <laughs> you ever walk into a restaurant, and uh, the first thing you do, and most people can attest to this, the first thing you do is you look around. You look for, for open seats. Right now, your first instinct when deciding where to sit or looking at open seat is deciding your level of privacy. By that, I mean that most people. You walk into the restaurant. They're like, how many? Two, please. All right. So in their head, they're going to do what's best for the business, right? What's best for the business is, it's two people. I can put them at a little table. i offer them the bar. So if four or five, six, seven, eight people come, I can give them a booth. So that's best for the business. As a consumer, we don't care about what's best for the business. 
in our head, we like two peas. There's two please. And put us at the biggest boot you got. So we were all over space. So they say, okay, right this way. They're walking towards the little table in the middle of the restaurant. We see them heading to the little table, so we stop. Um, I'm sorry, do you have a booth available? Um, yeah, let me see. I got this one over here, but I have to clean the table off. Okay, no problem. We'll wait. So most people are like, mm, you want a booth or what? Because you don't want people all in your conversation when you're eating. That could be one reason. Because a lot of people do have private conversations when they sit in the booth. Let me sit at the little table. The perception is that the person sitting right next to you or across from you that way or that way, they, they all like this. They listen. Which is funny because Believe it or not, you become the person that listens. So, and I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. Going to a restaurant, let's say they don't have boots available. And you're like, all right. I, I, I sit at a, at a table. You sit at the table the whole time, you like, there's a lot of people in here. thinking after after we uh, after we leave dinner that maybe oh no sorry no I, I was trying to see if she she was listening to my conversation she looked like she was there you know her bro cause she's staring kind of hard ladies there's a reason why uh, that happens to you guys, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because first thought is, whatever you get ready to say, the first thing you think is 900,000% more important than anything else anybody else in the restaurant got to talk about, right? So you think everybody listening to you. When in fact, you're turning around and you're listening to them to make sure they're not talking about what you're actually saying. So then you become that person in the room that somebody else sitting across the way is like, I wonder if they listening to me. Because everybody doing the same thing. Everybody want to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, nine times out of ten, people not listening to other people's conversation. But that one out of ten, it happens. And whether you're sitting at a table or a booth, can't escape that. People be sitting at the booth right behind you listening to everything you're talking about. You know what I mean? I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? You go somewhere, you sit down, you say a joke, and, it, and it's funny. Then you hear people behind you laughing. Why you find out y'all listen to my joke, man? Now, if I'm going to be a comedian, y'all got to pay me to be laughing at my joke. But it happened. You know what I mean? And that's what I mean by why is it that people go out to restaurants they get so uncomfortable? Because they do, man. People get really uncomfortable when they're out. But everybody want to go out. It's crazy, right? So, imagine if everybody didn't think like that, how comfortable it'll be at a restaurant. And how even people may actually enjoy it. You know, more so than anything. So, and be cautious. And be, you know, caring you know, and be thoughtful about the people coming after you, okay? What I mean by that, if you order your food, you eat your food, and you're drinking your dessert and all that, you sit there, you gossip, and you talk, and you share each other's feelings and hold hands for 20 minutes. Understand that there's somebody else, maybe another couple doing just what you're doing, waiting for that boot. You know what I'm saying? Just be courteous. That's all I'm saying. Be neutral. Neutrality. Like, I'm neutral about Chipotle. Because although 
I prefer the chicken. I'll eat the beef if they had it. I'll eat the steak if they had it. So, neutrality actually gets you further in life than picking sides. Hear me when I say it. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, man. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't tell y'all nothing but the truth. So, remember that when you're going out today. Neutrality. Okay? Now, even though I'm neutral with Chipotle, I got to give them the 10 on the food. You know what I mean? Because they hook me up. They always hook me up. So, you guys hearing this and stop by a Chipotle, man, and doze. Doze and doze. Like me. So, you guys have any suggestions for me, feel free to comment below. Let me know, man. You know I'm all this. Until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with all my content. And it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.